Hey guys, what's going on? Spipricks here, back with another LEGO video, and with the official release of LEGO Minifigures Series 18, everybody is rushing out to try and get their very own classic policeman minifigure. But of course, there's only one in every box of 60 minifigures, which makes the likelihood of you getting one of these minifigures much smaller than the other minifigures in the series and other minifigures that we have had. He's definitely not as rare as Mr. Gold, and so that's why I've compiled five tips and tricks to help you find the policeman. It's definitely doable, and by applying some of these tricks you learn in this video, I think everybody should be able to get a policeman, or at least those who want one. If you guys find any of these tricks useful that you guys learn in this video, be sure to drop a thumbs up down below and subscribe to my channel for more. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into them. Number 5. The first trick on this video is primarily for those who are just trying to get the policeman figure rather than collecting the rest of the series or maybe you already have some of the other minifigures, but if you're trying to get the classic policeman minifigure, don't even bother trying to feel the packaging for very wide or very thick packages because the policeman minifigure has a lot of pieces that are very skinny and thin. So you should actually be looking for the very thin packets and that has a more likelihood of having a policeman in it. This is a very simple trick, but if you didn't really think about it, well here's a great way to save time so you can go through even more blind bags. Number 4. Now before I go even further, I did want to let all you guys know that I have found some policeman minifigures, so just making sure that I could clear that up, that I have actually found some, so I did a credibility behind some of these tricks. Now the next one we're going to be talking about is how to feel for this policeman minifigure. Obviously you guys have heard about the feeling technique and hopefully you guys do use it so you guys don't end up with a bunch of duplicates that you do not want. You can basically take the blind bag and shake down the components down to one of the corners and from there you're able to distinguish some of the different pieces. Now as for the classic policeman minifigure, it's actually very easy to feel for him. So not only does he come in a very thin package because his pieces are so skinny, but he also has has a 1x2 tile and 1x2 brick which are only in this one minifigure, only come with this one minifigure, as well as that policeman hat. Those are three really distinguishable pieces that you should be able to find within while feeling the blind bag packs. Number three. So if you're having trouble even finding any of these minifigures, just they're not on shelves or maybe they're all sold out already, there's always one trick that you can always do, and remember that you're the customer and there are people working there. So be sure to take this for your full advantage and go ahead and ask an employee or go to the guest service or customer service. And while you're there, talk to one of them and ask if they have any more of the minifigures in the back. You can have them look it up and they should be able to tell you if they have a box. And even better is that if they do, they'll bring it out to you and it'll be completely sealed still, which means that you're guaranteed to have a policeman minifigure out of those packs. And then from there, you're able to feel the packs and whittle it down and eventually find the pack that the classic policeman is in, which is a great win-win situation. Number two. This next trick really builds on the last one that I just talked about. However, it can be if you're very lucky to find a brand new box on the shelf, you can use it then at that point. If you guys are not already aware, the classic policeman minifigure packet is actually not randomly placed throughout the minifigure boxes. It's in the same exact spot on all of them. So if you're lucky enough to find a brand new unopened box of all 60 of them that nobody else has felt through yet, you are guaranteed to find a Lego minifigure of the policeman five from the very back on the left hand side. Here's a table if you guys want to look at it a bit better. You guys can see police, that is five from the back on the left. So just imagine this as if you're looking from the top view of the box with all of the minifigure packets are each of those grid marks in there. So just imagine how many classic policeman minifigures you could find if you found multiple boxes that your store had that weren't even searched through yet. That's a lot of cool retro policeman minifigures that you could possibly obtain. And number one. The number one trick on this list is the main reason why I found my very first classic policeman minifigure. Now just a quick background, I live in a very busy city, very crowded city, and all of my retail stores like Target, Walmart, 
any sort of store like that that would sell collectible minifigures is usually very picked over. However, I found a way around this because my store doesn't usually have many in the actual LEGO aisle. So if you look through the LEGO aisle and you can't find any collectible minifigures there, be sure to go check out a few other places. My favorite spot being by the checkout lanes, and so usually there's a lot of little items there like gum and candy, but they also have sometimes LEGO poly bags and LEGO collectible minifigures, especially at Target stores. If you guys live in the United States, you guys know what Target is. And the second promisable place for different retail stores is where they stash all of their trading cards. And so sometimes the blind bags of LEGO minifigures will get put there randomly. It's kind of a long shot sometimes. I don't usually find them here. Like I said, I usually find them by the checkout lanes. But of course, every store is different, so go ahead and give that one a shot if you can't find them anywhere else. Now, like I said, I usually find them around in this area in Target, if you guys have Targets around where you are. Be sure to go check those places out by the checkout lanes. This is not my Target you're seeing right here, it's just a image from online. But still, this is really where I usually find them, so if you guys don't always check there, be sure to go check there. And what's really cool is that if you can find one in one of the checkout aisles, usually they're in all of them. So just imagine finding, like in this picture, eight of them, eight aisles with a little string of collectible minifigures hanging there. That's pretty cool, and that's how I found my first collectible minifigure policeman. He was all the way in the back of one of these checkout aisles, and that's where I found him. So those are five tips and tricks for you so you guys can go ahead and go out and try and find a collectible minifigures policeman for yourselves. Now, of course, there's going to be a lot of people doing this and maybe even a lot of people seeing this video. So go ahead and act pretty quickly. But of course, if you guys live in a smaller town, it'll be much easier for you to maybe get your hands on one of these collectible minifigure policemen. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I wanted to make this so everybody has a equal chance of being able to get one of these and know a few little tips and tricks for to gain an upper advantage sometimes if you guys are not able to find one yet. I'm Spit Bricks. If you guys have enjoyed, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video coming very soon.